These components might be small, but they are very important. Why? Keep on watching to discover why. We've included timestamps in this video. So if there are certain parts that are of interest to you, please feel free to skip ahead. Before we continue with today's video, just a special thanks to Prava. The Professional Roof Repair and Waterproofing Association of South Africa, where this video will be shot. If you'd like to find out more about Prava and all the good work they do to uplift the skills of people in our industry, click on the link in the description below. The effects of global warming has significantly impacted damage caused to buildings in Southern Africa. Because the roof is the most exposed part of the building, a substantial portion involves damages to roof coverings, especially where these have not been fixed in accordance with specifications. In today's video, we look at when and how to mechanically fix roof tiles to prevent them from being lifted from the building, as Ludwig explains. Hello Ludwig. Hi Sonica. Welcome to our uh, How to Video series. It's great to have you. Thank you. I must just tell everybody that Ludwig is also one of our esteemed colleagues. Um, you've got about 10 years of uh, roofing experience. That's great Sonica. Okay, cool stuff. Um, so today you are going to show us how to clip and um, nail roof tiles. That's correct. Um, I just want to understand um, why is it important to, to do that? So, Sonica, with roof tiles, if there is a massive storm, any wind, uh, gust winds are possible to pull up a roof tile if it's not installed correctly. Okay. So, tiles have to be nailed on the two holes. For example, on this modern tile, you get two places where you need to put the, a 50 millimeter nail in. Okay. You have to do it on the top two lines yes. on your ridge. Yeah. On your gable side, also two lines. Yeah. And on your hips and your tallies, you have to do a minimum of one and a half lines. Okay, and as I, I assume on your eaves as well. On your eaves as well, on the bottom two as well. So basically all around the edge of the roof. So if you take this face of this roof from that valley to this side, you'll basically fix the outside with nails. I understand. Yes. So that is the absolute minimum. But, absolute um, minimum. but as far as I understand, it depends on, on the circumstances and um, in the area. Yes. So um, if you if you are in a, I could say, area where there's even more um, heavy wind gusts, you actually need to nail even more. But um, for, uh, for our viewers, you can actually go on to Marley's Roofing website um, and then you can just go and uh, download our minimum fixing specification so everything is in there. That's very good. Yes. So when we are going to, when we're going to nail the roof, um, is there any specific size nails that we need or any other accessories? Yes, so each tile has got its own nail size that you use to fix the tile to your batters. Okay. So that is also on the specification manual that will say which type of uh, size nail to use. For the modern, we are using a 50 mil nail. But not just the nails, we also use solo fix clips and storm clips, okay. which are the ones that I've got here in my hand, which I'm busy confirming what size to use. As the modern is a flat tile, yes. it'll use a smaller clip. I see. Okay. And the modern, uh, the double Roman and the monarch, they will use a bigger one. Okay. Yeah, to fix this on. These have to be installed in high gust wind area. And where would you usually place them? So, for example, this clip I've checked now. I've got the two types. This one is too big. This is the correct one for the modern. Okay. So you'll put it on your overlap of your tile. Yes. You'll put it up to there, and you'll see the nail presses against the baton and then you just take a hammer and you hit it in all the way down until it stops. Oh, I see. Okay, so just place it over the interlock. That makes That's sense correct, to me. Yes. So that basically is just an extra mechanism to ensure that, that your tile is held flat yes. um, in, in, in the event of high wind gusts. That's correct. Okay, well, is this the only uh, mechanism that we use? Or we've say... got two types. So we've got the plastic one. It comes with a loose nail. And as we know, if you're on the roof and you lose the nail, 
you get another one it's a bit of a hassle so you also get the steel one it looks like this it has got its own clip and nail already oh it's almost like an all-in-one so you don't really yes. need to, to worry about worry the about the nail that, that, that just actually fell out now so same principle put it over your interlock you hit it from this side with the hammer and then you install it until it goes all the way through on the back end. Though nailing and clipping is effective for whole and half cut tiles, fixing of small cut tiles on hips and valleys are crucial to prevent them from slipping out, which can cause leaks, blockages, or even worse, hitting objects or people below. But before we get to the process of fixing tiles at hips and valleys, it is advisable to mark the tiles underneath in accordance with your layout sequence so that placing the cut tiles back into position does not become a tricky puzzle. Okay, we are now getting to the valley detail. Um, and as you can see, we've got these small little pieces of tiles. And um, to ensure that we can fix these tiles, we need this little clip. This is called a crow clip. And that is basically to fix small pieces of tiles where you don't really have a nail hole. So in this case, we actually do have a nail hole, but the problem is that the nail hole runs across the valley. We are never allowed to hit nails through the valley because this in itself can cause leaks. So what you do is you basically decide where you're going to put the crow clip, where it's going to be the most effective holding the tile in place. So I've decided that this would probably be the most effective spot. The only rule with a crow clip is that you try and keep the wire as short as possible. And in terms of fixing the wire, you need to choose a baton that is at a higher point than your fixture. And then once you've determined that or, and you've secured the crow clip, you basically nail um, through your baton and then you just twist this around and that will ensure that your little tile remains in place. Step one, place the crow clip over the tile and gently knock it with a hammer so that it grips securely over the tile. To test the grip, do the dangle test. Step two, place the tile in position, ensuring that the crow clip's wire is placed behind the tile. Identify the closest but highest point on the closest baton where the wire can be fixed to the baton. Step 3. Nail into the closest baton, then twist and wrap the wire around the nail to secure. You will also notice here at the back of the tile, we've actually removed some of the tile nibs um, and that is just to ensure that the tile can lie flat um, on the roof. So sometimes that is a requirement that you would need to do when you fit it over a valley tray. Now with the same as the valley, we're going to use the hip and we are going to identify which tiles need to have a crow clip installed on them. As you will see here, on my side, there is this tile does have a nail hole, so we can skip this one. This tile underneath does have a nail hole in. When we come to this little small one, this little piece of tile, we will have to put a crow clip in. And this one over here has also no nail holes to fix, it will need a crow clip. On the opposite side, this little small piece, you can see there's absolutely no nail hole, we will have to use a crow clip. This tile is fine, it has got a nail hole to fix it. This tile, it looks like it might need one, but if we lift it up, there's also no place to fit a nail in. So this part will have to have a crow clip to hold the tile. This one does have nail holes, and this little small part here, which we have taped just to show you for the video that it doesn't fall off, needs to have a crow clip as well. As per the valley, position the crow clip so that it grips tightly. 
pull the wire to the closest but highest point on the closest button and secure the nail by wrapping the wire around the nail. It is also worth considering the best position of where to attach the crow clip to the tile so that it is hidden as best as possible, but always ensuring that the position does not interfere with keeping tiles flat and in position. That concludes today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and comment. We would really love to hear your feedback. And if you have any suggestions, please let us know in terms of the content that you would like to see. That's it for today. Until the next time.